It's Saturday afternoon and I'm here to share another story with you. The story is about a boy named Samuel who is called. Somebody is calling his name and he really doesn't know where the voice is coming from. Have you ever had that experience where um, somebody's calling, you think somebody's calling your name and you're not quite sure where it's coming from? That's happened to me for sure. Sometimes it really isn't anyone or sometimes Sometimes it really is. Uh, and Or maybe you've had a dream, and in the dream somebody's calling your name. It could, that possibly could have happened. It's, I think it's happened to me. So this happens to Samuel while he's sleeping one night. And Samuel's called to be a helper by God in this story. And it also, it, this story reminds me of, some, of Mr. Rogers. And Mr. Rogers is someone who... Uh, had a TV show for children called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and many of you will be familiar with it, and some of you may be too young to um, remember it. it. It was on about, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago, and maybe there's still reruns. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Rogers describes being young and being upset that something has happened in the world, um, and his mother says to him, look for the helpers. And he felt like that was a really great way to feel good about what was happening in the world. Because even though this bad thing is happening, was happening in the world, when he looked for the helpers, when he looked at all the people that were helping out in the situation, it made him feel so much better. Because there are a lot of helpers in the world. And you are also called to be a helper. And so as you go through your week this week, and even today, you can, anytime, you can think about how can I be a helper? Especially when you're feeling worried and sad. Think about how you can be a helper. How you are called to be a helper. And that'll help you feel a lot better, I'm pretty sure. So I'm ready to share the story. I am going to go and um, color some little puppets for this story. So <laughs> you'll see them soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good week. And I will see you again. Bye-bye. A Child Who Heard God's Call, from Samuel 3, verses 1 to 20. Once there was a woman named Hannah who loved God very much. She was sad because she had no children. She prayed to God about how much she wanted a child to love. God answered her prayers. She had a baby and named him Samuel. Hannah wanted Samuel to know and love God, so she taught him many things. When Samuel was still a child, Hannah took him to live with Eli, who was a priest. Hannah said, I asked God for this child, and I have promised that he will be the Lord's for as long as he lives. Let him stay here with you so that he can grow up in God's house. So St Samuel stayed with Eli and helped him with the work that needed to be done at the tabernacle, which is what they called their place of worship. He lit the lamps, and he opened the big curtain doors, and he looked after Eli, who was growing old and was almost blind. One night, Samuel woke up from a deep sleep heard someone calling his name. He ran to Eli saying, you called me and here I am. What would you like me to do? But Eli said, my child, I did not call you. Go and lie down again. Samuel thought that maybe he had been dreaming. Soon he heard that voice again, Samuel, Samuel, it called. And he got up from his bed and went to Eli saying, here I am. I'm sure you called me. No said Eli. I did not call. Go back to bed. Samuel was puzzled, but he went back to bed. A third time he awoke to the sound of his name. A third time he went to Eli. This time Eli realized it must be God calling Samuel. He told Samuel, lie down in your bed, and when you hear the voice again, say, speak, O God, I am listening. So Samuel went back to bed, and the voice came again. And this time, when he heard, Samuel, Samuel, he replied as Eli had instructed, saying, Speak, O God, I am listening. God told Samuel that the people were not living in loving ways that God wanted. God asked Samuel to tell Eli and the people that they must return to God's ways. God needed a child to help lead the people. Samuel was glad that God needed him. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for all of our gifts. Help us to use them to serve you and the world that you have created. Amen.